Hey everybody, this is Joe back with another episode of the Waterbox 130.4 build. So I'm gonna just give you a little video on how I'm doing my maintenance. Right now I have my protein skimmer um, and my power heads, my media cups. Um, I'm gonna take out my Varios 8 return pump here in a second, but that's gonna be the last thing I do because I, I need flow in my tank. But uh, a lot of my stuff is dirty. I mean, it's been running for, you know, three months now. And uh, let me turn this around and show you what I'm doing. So I installed this utility sink a couple months ago um, for good use here. But, you know, I have my NIOS Quantum 160 skimmer pulled apart. I got my Nero 5 power heads in there. And uh, basically what I'm doing is... I just added some water with a little bit of distilled vinegar and I added just a tad bit of bleach as well. Um, those are my skimmer cups. I did order the adapter rings just because I've noticed that, um, you know, when you put these in there without this adapter ring, sometimes the water just flows down because it's even though they're four inches, I think the water box is just a little bit over. I mean, it, it is four inches because it catches, but without without these rings, you have to adjust it just right. But um, this is what it looks like. I got a couple of brushes in there. I mean, the water's dirty. Um, I'm just doing a little maintenance on here and cleaning it up. And then, you know, there's my roadie unit. I do want to mention this little spanner wrench or, or this wrench to get these canisters off broke. That's a new one. But I will tell you, I bought this from Lowe's. Um, it's a universal. So what this does is you can, you know, put this on and, you know, make it tight or loosen it up. So I have this as a backup. So I recommend getting one of these just in case but um you know i did change out my filters recently i got my tds meter on there and uh my psi is always around like 90 so you know my my, my tds is reading zero and last night you know this is my little water station i call it um i have my fresh water buckets in here the orange Home Depot one is just some roadie unit or roadie water that I use to clean, you know, off my tools and, and everything else. But I'm going to do a pretty decent sized water change today. But uh, I'm using, I, I changed from Instant Ocean to Fritz salt. And this is the High Elk salt right here. Um, so what I do is there's a, there's a scoop in there that's a that's a half cup. It's a half cup per every gallon. Um, the brute trash cans, you know, this one needs 15 half cup scoops. That one needs 23 half cup scoops. And that's how I get my salinity at 35 parts per trillion. Um, and, you know, I have everything hooked up here. I have just some J Bow. I think that's what you call them. You know, I have it hooked up, you know, it runs down. I also have my heaters plugged into here. This is the XP Aqua Auto Shut Off. You know, I have the solenoid right there. And uh, yeah, uh, my cat, she loves to be up here. Her name's P. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing some maintenance. And the cool thing about these brute trash cans is you can get these wheels um, and I just wheel it out this way you know I have to lift up that little thing that's my dehumidifier um, that's my LG scrubber I always keep it here by the dehumidifier this is the flipper um, that way it can just dry off but I wheel my stuff out here and uh, here's my tank, so it's not that far. But uh, I'm gonna be doing some major maintenance. I'm gonna turn on these lights here. 
for you, but um, I ended up getting these puck lights from Home Depot. The brand is called Defiant. It's $14.88 for eight of them. Um, this is the inside of my sump right now. As you can see, the skimmer's out. I did put a sock in there because uh, I'm gonna clean out the main display and I'm gonna catch all the particles coming out of there. Um, still running two meteor reactors and uh, that's all she wrote. But you know, the pump's coming out next and I'm gonna clean that. That's gonna be my last step. So far, so good, please. All right, so this is the Python hooked up. It's gonna get a little loud here, but what I do is, you know, I turn on the water to give it a good spike in. See how the water's coming out? And, you know, I have it going all the way down through my unfinished part of my basement here. And there's the skimmer. It's all looking nice. But here's my display. I know the blues don't do it real justice. It's a little cloudy right now because you know I ended up blowing off the rocks and the corals and kind of sifting up the sand there. But you know, in my overflow, I have it overflowing for a reason so that any debris in here that I stirred up can go into the filter socks. So I did save the filter socks even though I used the media cups just for this purpose to filter out everything that I just stirred up. Now the Python, what's cool about it is right now it's on. That's off. But as soon as I put it in the water, I do this. And the cool thing about it is it creates a suction, you know, so I can feel air coming out of or sucking up into here. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is I gotta shut off the Varios here. And uh, once it drains, I'll come back and show you how this thing works. All right, so I'm gonna do my sump part first. I ended up uh, shutting off that power head and the heater and I just want to give you a little demonstration. As soon as you stick this sucker in there, see how it sucks up? And right now, it's literally just going into the sink. So that's how the Python works. Talk to you later. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope everything that I'm showing you is helping you out a little bit. But talk to you later on the next episode. Bye-bye.